everyone welcome back to my channel please subscribe to children's books read aloud the fox's hiccups a percy the park keeper book by nick butterworth the first stars were beginning to show in the sky as percy the park keeper made his way home to his hut in the park he had been working hard all day and he was tired and hungry now he was looking forward to his supper and a good rest As Percy plodded on, he saw his friend the fox coming up the path towards him. The fox was on his way home too. Good night, said Percy as they passed each other. Good night, Hick Percy, answered the fox. The fox had hiccups. The fox had been drinking some fizzy lemonade when a squirrel told him a funny joke about a parrot, a worm and a cricket bat. The fox exploded with laughter. It was then that he had learnt that it is not a good idea to laugh and drink at the same time. He had had hiccups all afternoon. I wonder if Hick Percy knows a good cure for hiccups, said the fox to himself. I th hick, I'll ask him, he said. And with that, he turned and followed after Percy. When he got back to his hut, Percy remembered that he still had one or two jobs to do. First, he watered some plants. I'd better get my washing in too, said Percy. Then it's two boiled eggs for me and a pile of toast soldiers. The fox hurried on. He wasn't afraid of the dark. He just liked the light better, that's all. But where was Percy? He ran round the side of the hut, but instead of finding Percy, he found Percy's washing. Then with a crash and a tumble, which hurt his foot, he found a pile of flower pots. Ow! Hick-ow! wailed the fox. Percy was surprised by the crash. He stuck his head round the corner. But when Percy saw what had made the crash, he quickly pulled it back again. It's, it's a ghost, he gasped. Percy had never met a ghost before. He felt he should introduce himself, but what should he say to a ghost? Percy listened hard. He could hear the ghost still moaning and thumping about. Suddenly there was another loud crash. Then silence. Percy was just beginning to wonder if perhaps the ghost had disappeared when there came another sound, a small sound. It was not the sort of sound that Percy expected to hear from a ghost. Hick, burp. A smile spread over Percy's face. Percy poked his head round the corner again. This time... What he saw made him roar with laughter. Do you need any help, Mr Ghost? said Percy, still laughing. Yes, please, came a muffled reply from inside the barrel. Could you possibly turn me the right way up? Percy helped the fox back onto his feet. You gave me quite a shock, said Percy. I gave myself one, said the fox but it seems to have cured my hiccups. The end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I'll see you again soon for another story. Cheerio!